Next, we are honored to have Mr. Abdullah Hiraki, Vice President of the Bangladesh Garment Manufacturers and Exporters Association, Managing Director, Team Group. He will provide us with an overview of Bangladesh textile and garment industry, along with the development trends of supply and demand. Uh, let's extend a warm welcome to Mr. Abdullah Hiraki. Thank you. I, I must say that I'm privileged and uh, I'm honored to be a speaker here. And uh, I must say that this is so much time appropriate to understand how both the country can collaborate together to have a sustainable green belt reconstruction so that that gives breathability for both the partners. I will take... Uh, seven to eight minutes to finish my presentation. Uh, first, one third, it is about the updating about us, mm -hmm. who we are, where we are, where we started. The second one is talk about the opportunity for you to collaborate. And then third one will be the priorities for us to handhold together for the betterment of Bangladesh and of course, as well as China. Oh. If you see that uh, the Bangladesh on the on the map of uh, uh, this is this is the growth pattern. China is about 76, uh, 76, uh, where the export is only five. The Bangladesh do not export enough, so. Understanding the growth potential of the Chinese domestic market, we will also have to understand how we can simplify where we can export more in China because we also have some commodity product which have its own strength to serve internal Chinese market. And I strongly believe that uh, the five core product where we are serving globally with our competitiveness, China can be one of the partner as well. We, uh, be it the basic uh, crew neck t-shirt, basic denim, where our five core products are. Be globally, we are competing with all the uh, master supply chain uh, countries. But then again, our competitiveness is serving the c global need, and I believe China is not out of that. We can work out that how China can collaborate with us where we can also be a partner in their domestic progress. If it is complicated, that's better. Let's continue, otherwise I think the time is not, okay? Oh, he's contouring, okay. So if you see that uh, Bangladesh is now the largest or the second largest into global arena of garments presence and uh, contributing immensely to our economic growth and prosperity and the, the, this ex, uh, this export be, became the backbone of this country this is the growth pattern where we started in early 80s until 2023 where we see that 47 billion dollar ex export and uh, if you see the growth pattern it actually went almost on a double digit every year. Right now, we became the largest source for the denim, both in US and European market. We became the non-traditional market in, in any sense. We have the growth of about 8%. This is uh, the home of almost 215 lead green factories. And I must say that, uh, like I was mentioning just now, that 84.58% of the country's income and contribution to GDP is almost 11%, employing about 2.4 million women directly. And of course, the growing strength is about circularity and focusing on renewable energy and green production, productivity. I believe this is now the safest and most transparent apparel manufacturing hub in the globe. This is the summary where we stand that we have about 
3,500 active clothing factories. We have about 4.2 million workers. Uh, we have about $20 billion investment we, where we have invested into spinning, textile, and accessories. It's about 519 spinning mills, 338 textile mills, and about 99 accessories hub. We export to about 167 countries. The export is about 47.39 billion. This is the rise where we can see that uh, growth pattern again in terms of uh, uh, product. And I must say that these are the country where we export and the distribution of the product. Now we come to the opportunities. Opportunity wise, these are the core product where we can see that uh, for the trousers, we uh, $47 billion distributed into these five core product where trouser is a core product, t-shirt and knitted products are more uh, into 10 billion, uh, sweaters 5.94 billion, Sh uh, shirts and blouse about 3.6 billion, and underwear is about 3.7 billion, which is uh, about 80.4% of the total export. Now having said that, if you see that those product where uh, the global presence is there in terms of need, but we do not have the expertise or we do not have the capacity built, this is exactly where Chinese can come and collaborate and we can either be a strategic partner that you have the uh, you have the vertical integration and we became the partner for RMG or you can relocate your expertise and establishment in terms of the supply chain security like we was mentioning in BRI that the green transparency have to be maintained meaning is that when you have relocated integrated supply chain support even our after the LDC graduation, we can jointly uh, make sure that the global support we can do from Bangladesh, taking advantage of Bangladesh, uh, Bangladesh resources. And like I mentioned before, that as a country, as because until 2045 we will have a democratic democratic dividend, we must say that China can come forward and invest here on all those vertical integration to make it uh, more feasible lead time wise and having the green concept not to have more carbon footprint gross because of the shipping and having all those green energy saved. These are some of those uh, data which uh, I mentioned here but I don't want to go through. This uh, mention about our distribution in, in our new market where we are growing. You, you can see the Brazil, Colombia, Mexico, Russian Federation, even in Asia, where China is only 3.3%. This is what I want to mention, that if we can grow, say, if, if China became a new market for us, and if we can at least have $10 billion growth potential by next five years, this is a mutual benefit because as I mentioned just on the earlier slide that on the five core product our strength is globally proven so I must say that China is missing this opportunity and I, you can also import all these product from us thank you next slide if you see this uh, share of non-cotton and the opportunity for Bangladesh to grow globally in terms of having the stakeholder into global market, non-cotton product is our priority now. And as I mentioned earlier, that there are three points which we are focusing on. One is fiber diversification, one is product diversification, and one is market diversification. So when I see this uh, apparel trade, these non-cotton things can actually attract you to come here to invest or be a strategic partners to handhold together to have this RMG grown by at least another 40 billion in Bangladesh. As we mentioned that our target, uh, next page, next page. Our target is to grow another 42 billion and where we can see this growth, these are 
all this into all these three area it is in non cotton particularly in uh, man made fiber next slide these are the distribution where we can actually welcome the investment whereby we will also get benefited into our goal of vision 2032 which actually kind of collaborated between your goal of 2041 what what mr young was just mentioning before and uh, when i see that they want to also celebrate i think we can be a partner into your celebration so if we can see this investment potential in terms of fiber in terms of fabric manufacturing and in terms of garments manufacturing this really can support both the country together next slide so now we come to the pr priorities. What is, uh, I mentioned about opportunity and this is about the priority where we see that as a country, we actually could establish our uh, image into the global market. This is about sustainability and uh, of course, like I see that opportunity of growth is diversification of the product fiber and market. And of course, understanding the, uh, understanding the need and understanding the need to learn of reskilling and upskilling and understanding on the innovation process, I must say that you are well ahead than us. And I must say that each of you can come and collaborate with us to transform this technology where we can learn. This institution, I think this, uh, the MOU we signed today, I look forward that our students go to China and Chinese students come to us or Chinese experts come to us to train our students, our uh, expertise into different factories where the technology is not, not just about the infrastructure, it's about the people, it's about the technological innovation mindset and the process where we will have to handhold that if we want to take the advantage of having the democratic dividend of this country to have your growth pattern sustained, if we want to grow equally, I think this is the only platform where BRI, like Mr. Young mentioned earlier, can also support. And I must say that BUFT done a landmark work today to have this MOU signed. And I must look forward, I must say that our students should go to China and learn and our expertise should have an exchange program. Even the entrepreneurs can have an exchange program where we can go and learn how do we invest or reinvest into this industry where we can keep the growth potential until $100 billion, which is our dream by 2030. Thank you. Next. Next page. These are some uh, target what BGMEA has set in terms of ESG. Uh, I, I, think, I think we don't have time for that, but I must say that if we have separate time, we can also collaborate because in terms of green and green collaboration, I think China also have some topics to learn from us in terms of seeing the factories and believing into it and making sure that we both collaborate together to have the, this world more livable. Next page. This supply chain dynamics is shifted. I think we talk about the customer's preferences pro-COVID and after COVID, all those realization into the market, the market dimension and the supply chain dimension have shifted and we all acknowledge and I think Mr. Young was also mentioning about it. Next page. This is where we see the future and uh, I need we think we can also partner it together on the technological advancement and uh, sustainability and responsible manufacturing, engineering and diversification, skill workforce and human capital development. Because when we saw many factories in China, we saw that Chinese are really having their innovative process and own technology where we can learn from many of those Chinese investment. Next. And I think that's all. I actually uh, uh, again congratulate and uh, congratulate the entire team here who came to see us. And I congratulate our VC, Dr. Mahfuz Rahman, for taking the initiative to sign this MOU. And I must also say that the edu uh, education never ends and we will keep learning. And uh, thank you all very much.
Thank you, Mr. Abdullahi Rakib, for your enlightening presentation on the overview and development trends of Bangladesh textile and garment industrial.